Hello everyone, this is Chantel, AKA Crazy Cooking Cat Lady. I am back with another video for you today. I'm thinking we're gonna do a whole variety. I have some options here. So you know how when you go and order a uh, sushi and you get spicy tuna? This is tuna. It's made with sriracha, but what I did was add two times spicy bulldog hot sauce. And I put a quarter of this, cause this is new, I ripped it open, threw a quarter of it in there until I liked the color, and that's how I got <laughs> this color. My wife is probably going to think it's sriracha, and I'm going to let her think that, and we'll see how that goes. When you cut into animal protein that has fat, you should do it cold. That way it's just not so difficult. It really holds its shape. And also, Side note, I've never done this before, but I think it's like, I think I could do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is like, so it has its like, it has its skin. I'm gonna fillet it off of its skin and I have a fillet knife here. So let's try and fillet this. I've never done this before. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. The still raw done, done us good because I can get through this pretty easily. First, I'm gonna focus on the back that I can see. I'm gonna hold it firmly and then work through the skin. I don't wanna go through the skin, I just wanna work on top of the skin. I can feel some fibers. Here we go. All right. So, also when you are filleting protein or working through protein, you just allow the skin and protein to create a divide and let that guide you. Don't be scared of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like naturally pulling it up and allowing it to fall away from its own skin. Let's go ahead and get in there. Oh, okay. Here is my salmon paste and now I can make sashimi. So I did a little bit of research on this and they say you want to go with like the natural lines and I feel like that's true to a lot of proteins. So here's my natural line here. You actually trim like that discoloration too. So I'll show you that too. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I just did a little bit of research and I just want to share what I know with you. So there's this, this darker shade. And we're gonna get some of that out. And we're just gonna lightly trim it. Um, I'm so glad that I sharpened this knife. So I'm just gonna give it a little pinch and work through. It's warming up pretty quickly. I live in South Carolina, it's just warm. So it's just kind of hard to control your temperature indoors. And I have the air off so that way you don't hear it humming throughout the video. Here we go, here's a trim. It's just warming up so quickly. So it's not the cleanest trim, but it's a trim. We don't need this. And you wanna go against the grain when you cut your sashimi pieces. So, you don't wanna just go against the grain, you wanna do an, um, a diagonal cut. So you don't want to go with the fat, you want to go against the fat. Let's see. So that would be this way. So I just cut through my first little filet or my first block and created my sashimi. Now I want to move on to the scallops. Butterfly, I think I'm going to butterfly these into two pieces each. They smell so good. These are very fresh. So I ended up getting my supplies from Whole Foods. Beautiful. I'm so excited. This is what I'm using. This is my sushi rice, which is made out of cauliflower. And I've made this recipe before in a previous video. I'll just link that down below. I don't mean to talk about it too much, um, but this is cauliflower. I made 
30 pieces of nigiri. Here they are. Now I'm gonna make, I'm thinking one California roll. We're not adding cream cheese to it because my sushi rice, my cauliflower sushi rice has cream cheese in it already. So let's just prep a little bit of cucumber and a little bit of avocado. Let's do some strips. Here it is. And my nori. Shiny side up. And we'll use my cauliflower sushi rice. And then we want to kind of get this down. One, isn't this glass cute? Isn't this gorgeous? Every olive is in place of a bell and every word is a cuss word. It's so cute. Shout out to Jojo and baby Lena. I went with them to Goodwill and we were just looking around and I found these really cute martini glasses. I broke all of my martini glasses. My wife and I love martinis, but I see these and they're just so ugly that they're cute. You know what I mean? Second thing I want to bring up is this shirt. Hello, does anyone know what month it is? It is Gay Pride Month. All right, so let's continue. Let's make these California rolls. So I'm gonna use this avocado. That's well, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna use half, half of the avocado, half of the cucumber. And I'm gonna try and use as much imitation crab meat as I can. Okay, let's try. Ready, set, and roll. It's working. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Actually never done cauliflower sushi rice as sushi rolls before, so we'll see. I think I squeezed it too much. Let's see. Hey, it made it. Okay, this looks very good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Here we go. All right, my knife is nice and sharp. So there's one piece. And look at that. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Oh, I bet it tastes so good. I'm so excited. Light pressure, let your knife do the work, and don't press down. You don't want to put too much weight into your cut because then you're going to squish everything. Now I'm ready to make hand rolls, and I'm not going to use rice for this. I'm just going to use my tuna, avocado, and cucumber. So let's hope for the best because actually I've never made this before either. It smells so spicy. Let's get that avocado in there. I have three halves, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a whole half for each. I also have some water right here too. So I'm gonna bring up the edge. I'm gonna make it come to me, not the other way around. A little bit more water. Okay. And then look at that. Okay, it's not the most beautiful, but it's good enough for me. Look at that. Okay, oh my gosh. I'll put it over here. So, I cleaned up a little bit. Let's create our display. platter. I don't know what it looks like to you, but to me, it looks good. I'm very excited about eating it. Let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. It's so spicy. I think it's spicier. Mmm. I know. 
Can you, see, can you hear my son? Emily! Yeah? Come here! I want you to try this. I made spicy tuna. Ooh. Oh, it's just filming? Yeah. Okay, it's just, it's really big so we can pull it apart. I know, it's really big. What do you think? Is it spicy? It's mm -hmm. Is it like enjoyably spicy mm -hmm. or like too spicy? Mm -hmm. it's water. It's too spicy? No, it's good. It's good. It's just like really hot. Oh. It's getting hotter. <laughs> Stop talking for you. Oh, man. But it's good, right? What did you put in it? Oh, my God. Did you put that in there? Yeah. But it's good. It's like super tasty. I feel like it has more flavor than sriracha. No? You want some avocado? I can give you some avocado. You want some avocado? I'm coming. Okay, so we've seen how that went. As you can tell, I've never made this before. You've seen it happen all in front of your eyes. I never made sashimi. I never cut my own grade eight sushi fish before. Wow, what a great experience. If you have that kind of flexibility in your hometown or a nearby store, try it. It's so good. It's really not that difficult to handle. You've seen me for the first time, just trying to figure it out and do it. It came out fine. It's great. I like it. Um, I'm not disappointed in the aesthetics. So. If you think mine is all right, I'm sure you'll do even better, so. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching.